Alrighty guys, so here we go. I'm do a little envelope opening here. A little while back, I ordered a slight upgrade from my computer. And I'll put the original unboxing video of this computer in the description. That out. I'll get back to that. And the camera's gone out of focus. That's that's great. Come on, focus. There you go. Yep. More RAM. 8 gigs to be exact. Here's all the specs on it. It will decide to focus. Come on. So yeah, there's there's the specs on it. It's 8 gigs. Um, it's for my laptop, of course, because it only has 4 in it at the moment. So, gonna... Uh, Shut everything down, unplug it. Alrighty, so we're gonna get started installing the RAM here in my laptop. Just gonna flip it over. We'll see what, and it is a good idea to pop out the battery. Just get that over there. Lay that over to the side. Now then, you're going to need some fairly small screwdrivers. I just happen to have a set of uh, precision screwdrivers here. Just open these up. Okay, so we have a tiny dust filter which I'll need to clean out. Various other information, and then we have the RAM itself. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna pop this old RAM out. Oh, it has these two little clips on the sides here, which I'm gonna have to push out. Slide those over, and it just pops up. You can just slide it right out of there. That's the original single Samsung 4 gig module. Okay, guys, so I finally figured out what I was doing wrong. Don't seem to have broken anything in the process, so we're still good there. Put this in. Okay, and it's really that easy. Um, I did have to read the manual to see, you know, what I was doing wrong. It's laying over there on the couch, but then at this point, really all you got left to do is snap the uh, cover back on. Now, this process could be different depending on what kind of computer you have. But, it's generally the same across the board. You know, find the cover that's hiding your memory and then um, It's pretty much just as simple as uh, take a screw out, pop the cover off, you know, pop the old out, stick the new in. Um, this took me a little bit longer because I was stuck on the angle. I didn't have the right angle trying to go into it, so. Okay, it's tied in there. Battery back in it. The battery actually has not had to be pulled the entire time I've owned this computer, I don't think. So, that's in there. Now, we're going to flip it over, carry it back in there, wire it back up to my TV, and check and make sure I didn't break something. I really hope I didn't. I love this computer so much. Alrighty guys, so we're back. Hey. Sorry for kind of an over the shoulder weird sort of view I've got to work with here, but anyways, first fire.
Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna close this down a little so that we can see the entire 42 inch. Just you guys a bit. Oh, knock the camera over. And we are loaded. Start the task manager. Yep, total memory right here. 7659 megabytes, which for this system counts as 8 gigs because it has the shared video memory and all of that and you can see this graph is now much lower let's fire up the uh, CPU Z and when it focuses you will see 8192 megabytes installed memory and here are the timings I'll move this up so maybe you can see there are the timings for it. Anyway, so that's my RAM install on my Samsung laptop. If you have any other questions, feel free to comment, uh, drop a like, you know, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys later.